What's up, Gold Chasers? And in this video, um, I got some bad news. I got COVID-19 or coronavirus, uh, the Rona, the vid, whatever you want to call it, I got it. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about some of the symptoms and what you can expect if you end up getting it. All right, let's get to the intro. What's up YouTube and for those who don't know me my name is Tashaun B. Berry aka Cali Hustle 619 and this is Gold Chasers a channel where we explore uh, mental and physical wellness well uh, as you can tell by the the name of the title I'm not doing too well so uh, today is my 10th day uh, on or having COVID-19 and um, it's been quite the experience it has hindered me quite a bit in the days that I've had it. Um, but this video, I wanna talk about um, the first symptoms uh, that I had uh, and how I fared through this COVID-19 and, and, uh, or through this virus and, and where I'm at today. All right, let's get to it. Uh, so as far as symptoms, um, uh, I, you know, this thing, this, this COVID thing is kind of funny because uh, I had uh, been around a couple people who had tested positive and I hadn't tested positive. I would keep testing negative. And so it got to a point where I figured, well, I either already had COVID and got over it or I was immune to it. Um, please don't use that as a way of thinking. There's no logic there. But that happened to be my logic, and and I could see how it would be anyone's logic after being around so many people who've tested positive, and you continue to test negative. But that's where I was. Um, I would continue to test negative, and and I wouldn't always put myself in the best situations, because at a certain point you kind of think like you know I've been here, I've been there, I've been around people who've tested positive. And I'm still testing negative, so I must be, you know, I must have the golden ticket. I don't know, but that wasn't the case. So uh, for me, um, my roommate, he ended up catching it. And uh, after he caught it and he let me know that he tested positive, the next day I had symptoms. So my symptoms on that first day, which were the worst um, during my 10 days of quarantine or 14 days of quarantine. Um, that first day, I, I got a, I woke up with a headache. Um, woke up with a headache and it progressed from there. Um, so it was a headache and it was also a runny nose. I woke up with a headache, runny nose. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm getting sick. I felt like I was catching a cold really. And so I like to sleep with my windows open, fan on, all that stuff. So, you know, that's nothing new to me to wake up with like cold symptoms, but they generally go away by, you know, eight, nine in the morning. This didn't go away. It eventually progressed from the runny nose, the, uh, the headache, till I started getting chills. And that was really weird. Chills and um, a fever. And that was weird, you know. That, I don't usually have fevers or chills or any of that during colds. And my body ached from head to toe. My body was aching. It felt like I had, now I had been working out up to that point. And, you know, a couple days before it, um, I started feeling a little achy, but uh, it, it's not like a sore muscle ache. It's more like a, um, just it's in your bones kind of aching uh, and it, it sucks. So, you know, at first I thought it was because I was doing the workouts, but it turned into like 
just aching for no reason, really. I get out of bed, I'm aching. I, I, feel, I don't feel like walking. Um, and that was another thing. Fatigue, it, it, it really pay, took a toll on me because uh, I went from, you know, having the energy to wake up, work out every day, to I'm hurting and I want to stay in bed and I want to nap, you know, throughout the day after a full night's sleep. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm fatigued. I feel like staying in bed, but I'm hot and I'm cold. So I can't get comfortable. I have a headache, runny nose. It's, it's the worst. It was just the worst. And so um, I basically put my phone down and just had to deal with it. I had to, to deal with that that whole day and that whole night. I had to deal with it. Um, so the next day I woke up. So day two, uh, my fever was gone. My fever was gone, but I still had the runny nose, headache, fatigue. I had fatigue throughout the whole time. Um, so fatigue, um, just no appetite. Um, day two, I was, I felt all right though, compared to some of the other days, or compared to the first day, I felt a lot better. So um, I knew I had to go to work and uh, my biggest fear is spreading or being a super spreader or spreading this virus because you don't know uh, how it is gonna affect people. I think that's the biggest thing for me is you don't know how it's gonna affect people. Uh, here I am, I made it through, but there's over 400,000 people who didn't. And there's people who, who did, but there it was much more severe than what I went through. <clears throat> and, and I don't wanna be, I don't wanna feel responsible for doing that to someone's, you know, kid, their parents, grandparents. I, I don't wanna be that person responsible. So I, for doing that to someone else. So, you know, um, I decided to go ahead and get tested because, you know, it, it's COVID going around here. It's not a cold, <laughs> it's not the flu, it's COVID and, and people are dying from COVID. So, like I said, I didn't wanna go to work and infect anyone and, and, and you know, be responsible before like a whole shift of people, you know, getting sick and, and hopefully, you know, making it through it, but there's a possibility there that people could die. So, I uh, went and got tested um, and I got my results the next day. Uh, I was positive. So uh, at that point I knew I couldn't go to work. Um, so I, I went ahead and contacted my you know, supervisor and, and let them know that I'd be out you know, two weeks. So the third day, um, still had the runny nose, slight headache. Um, Appetite was horrible. I, I just didn't want to eat. And if I did eat, it would be like once a day. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't feeling good. Fatigue, I stayed in bed for a lot of it. Like, uh, I just, I, I couldn't function. <laughs> and so I still, you know, I, I, I'm luckily, luckily I was able to work from home and uh, I was able to get a lot of work done, but there were naps in between work because I just, you know, you don't feel right. You don't feel, you're not feeling like anything really. You don't want to be in contact with anyone. You don't want to talk to anyone, but. So yeah, so, um, so that was day three. Day four is when I lost my sense of uh, taste and smell. And it was kind of funny because um, my roommate's friend was here and she was bleaching the whole downstairs and I could not smell <laughs> bleach, you know, and, and bleach is very strong. And I didn't really even notice it until she said something about it, that she had used bleach. And I'm like, I don't smell anything. You know, I don't smell. Um, my taste buds were all jacked up. So anytime I did eat, 
nothing tasted right. Nothing tasted like what I was looking at. <laughs> some things tasted like there was a lot of garlic in them and, and some things just didn't taste at all. So, you know, I knew that was coming. Um, I was hoping I'd be one of the lucky ones who didn't lose their taste or smell, but uh, yeah, no, I wasn't. So, lost my taste and smell, uh, and yeah, appetite, everything was messed up, but I was, I was doing all right, you know? Um, I didn't have any issues breathing, and I think that's everyone's concern when they catch COVID is, am I gonna have any respiratory problems? Because that's, you know, what, um, that's probably our, our main um, concern is uh, dying from uh, your lungs being clogged. I, you know, I'm not no doctor. I don't know the, the medical terms for everything, but um, to my knowledge, it just takes out your lungs and then you die. So, you know, everyone, especially with me being overweight, everyone was concerned about my, my weight and um, any pre-existing conditions that I had uh, prior to catching COVID. But um, yeah, for some reason, which a great reason, a good reason, you know, I didn't have those respiratory issues. I just had basically, I, I wanna say like flu symptoms that um, they were turned up a lot the first day. And then after that, it was kind of like it, it settled down to basically a cold. I didn't cough a lot. Um, you know, to, to some, you might not even notice or, or, or that I was sick. Like, you could look, you could have looked at me and, and not even been able to tell that I was sick, which is, is why it's so dangerous because I could have went, you know, out to the store and been out with people and they would have never known that I was sick and I could just been spreading it. So, um, yeah, but, so after that, uh, I wanna say like day five to, to today have been pretty much the same. Um, runny nose, oh well, uh, the runny nose went away yesterday. Um, I was able to work out today. Um, and like I said, I didn't have any issues, respiratory issues. A lot of the issues were my fatigue, um, headaches, chills, fever, stuff like that. But um, I didn't have any any respiratory issues. So I got out there, went outside, made sure I had my mask on me, just in case I was in contact with anybody while they were doing their daily walk or whatever. But I just went outside, walked the neighborhood, and uh, it felt great. It felt great. Um, I feel much better. Uh, I want to get tested again to, to make sure that I'm negative before I'm around people again. Uh, I have heard that, I, you know, you, when you test positive, it's, it's likely that you'll test positive for, for weeks on end um, before you'll test negative. And uh, so I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I do want to get retested and just have that peace of mind with the negative test. Uh, so yeah, so that was my uh, COVID journey. Uh, I, I feel good now. Um, it's time to get back on the grind. It's time to get back active. Um, you know, so when something like this happens to you, it uh, it shows you that you're not invincible. And I'm I'm 40, so I'm definitely not invincible. But. Um, I was able to make it through this and um, I learned a lot. I learned a big lesson here. You know, you know, you have to be responsible. You have to wear your, your face covering. You have to go, you have to do the six feet social distance. And you, you really need to do that because you don't want to catch it. It's not fun. It's not fun. And for anyone who's been through it, they would agree, you, it's not fun. You know, it's not cool. And, you know, some people take it for a joke. 
Um, and some people are anti-maskers, or they say it's uh, you know all the deaths are for to, uh, all the deaths were natural selection. And I feel like that's very um, um, sort of you know as very uh, selfish. It's very selfish of you to to feel that people are just dying because it was meant for them to die. Now, there's a lot of people who didn't have to die from COVID, and there's a lot of careless people out there who who their carelessness has taken people away from their families. And so, you know, please, you know, um, wear your mask, do the social distancing. If you don't need to go out then stay in the house like you know i was in the navy like we were on deployments and you know i i cannot complain about being at home um in a nice comfortable bed i have a kitchen cable internet i can't complain because i've been in much worse places and didn't have anything and had to deal with it and to deal with this oh i'm good i'm so good so, you know, if you don't need to go out, then stay in. It's all good. Netflix is crazy right now. Netflix, um, Apple TV, there's so many things that you can do. I got my little Nintendo Switch and I'm, I'm doing my little boxing. You know, I'm, I'm doing what I can to, to keep my Corona to myself. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, um, yeah, so that's, that's all I wanted to do with this video. Uh, I do have an update video coming out uh, soon, and I also have a podcast coming out soon. So um, please like, subscribe. Um, I didn't want this to be, you know, such a downer video, but this is real. You know, it's real, and and you know, looking at the news, you know, there's different strains of coronavirus now, and it's it's just it's it's getting very bad. And um, please, I want you to be safe. I want you to, your families to be safe. And um, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.